share a quick video on the current uh, population and which uh, things you may want to breed uh, until May when the subnets have um, come out. And that's exciting, very bullish. Uh, gas fees are going to be so much lower. Um, and so don't worry about any short dips. Um, fundamentals haven't changed. And that's that's what you need to understand. I mean, this this TUS burning mechanism is amazing. Um, and uh, everything else about the tokenomics uh, haven't changed. And it'll be even better in May. Uh, but in the meantime, the prices have reflected that. You've seen a uh, surge come down. You've seen organics come down. Uh, bulks and gems have stayed low, uh, which I already predicted that before. Um, and primes, I've said for quite some time in my free Discord, I said, you know, primes are good. It'd be a good good one to have. Maybe you have it be your second class, your third class, maybe your first. Start off with them. They have utility, so it's, it's pretty obvious. And the Craboids have utility, and so those have been going uh, good too. And then you'll also notice that the ruined and the, um, the sunkens, they, they just kind of bounce, they kind of bounce around. Okay. So let me just go through these. First, I want to share this cool site, uh, P2, uh, E that stands for play to earn analytics.com. And you can see here, uh, uh, just a lot of stats. So when you look at all time, uh, it's just nice, steady growth. You know, I mean, this is the, what you want. You want the steady growth. I know people love this giant shoots, but you don't want these giant things like that. Slow and steady is, is the best way to grow. Uh, I had a SaaS company and you want slow and steady. Uh, that's the way to do it. Absolutely. And the, um, uh, what's the, uh, the inflation is really good. I mean, it's just sideways. Look at this. Look at this. Nothing like SLP. SLP is just death spiral no matter what the, the Axie people try to do. And uh, then issuing some breed. This, none of this stuff is even point. I just like this I just like this site. You get some good data there and check it out. Population. Okay, here's what I wanted to talk about. Um, and, of course, you can click. Um, well, I, I don't do. I don't know, well, that's why I don't use crab prices because it doesn't work. I use the, po I use the marketplace um, off the official site. Always go to the official site. Never click any weird wallets. Okay, so I've already said this before. I've said it publicly hundred times now in the discord uh don't breed gems i don't like gems you want to do it go ahead battles it may change everything may change all these classes by the way are all going to have two three four metas okay and i have a crab match software uh that will help you spec breed and the big money's in the spec breeding okay and i also have the mining bot done ready to go and the uh, uh loot bot uh you can just dm me and i'll put you on the list okay so I've said that publicly about gems. It may change in the future, all right? But right now, I would not recommend breeding gems or breeding bulks. I breed one bulk every five days just because I had so many of them, and it only cost me um, 12750 or 12500 uh, uh, TUS yeah, because I always have at least one new virgin, and I always have one one bread. So it still makes me money to do that. Okay, primes, like I said, these things have been holding. Uh, prices are over $30,000. Let me, let me look at it right now. Today is April the 4th. And it is about 4.20 p.m. Eastern, uh, 31,300, okay? So what does that mean? That means you can breed primes three times, okay? You can do, you look at the average, the average of the, of, uh, you breed three, 51,000, look at that average, 17,500. And, um, and um, that's the way to look at it. Not, not just, oh, my third bread costs so much. No, it's only going to cost you seventeen thousand on average. That's how you, that's how you would grow, okay? And so that that makes sense to do that. Now, when the when the pra, uh, when the prices are down, uh, like say organic, it's at twenty seven thousand. Um, very seriously consider only breeding those two two times, okay? And so there's just this pain for the first thirty or sixty days, where it just feels like the growth is so slow. Well, it, it is, but then you get a momentum. And you get the momentum, and then you're able to stop breeding three times. Don't do any more three breads. Only breed two times. And never sell anything. Put them all into mining teams, mining teams, mining teams. Okay, so that's that's called the breakout point. That's called the self-perpetuating point. Okay, and uh, I want you guys to get there too. All right, Craboids have started coming up more. See, here's what I wanted to share. This is important. Some people go, oh, look, there's too many Craboids now. We can't do them. Wrong. You can. They have utility. They're good. Okay? Or they say, oh, I can't do primes anymore. Well, prime was a huge thing a month ago. You pull up the stat from a month ago, prime prime was 
uh, you know, obviously not as big as bulk, but it, it was really moving. And a lot of people made that mistake of, oh, there's too many of them now. No, not at all. If it has utility, it, it, then it has utility. So Prime's going to stay popular. So to answer your, your question, uh, if you want to know what is good to breed for the month of April, it's definitely Prime and Craboid, and it's definitely not Gem and Bulk, but it's also definitely some of these, these four. And I just cannot pick one over the other. Uh, if you're in my crab match software, you, you know which two out of these four I like the most, okay? And I'm sticking to those two. I haven't changed a bit. I'm still breeding them, them aggressively, okay? Um, and I did start my craboid farm. I'm officially breeding all seven of these. I'm just not breeding gems, okay? So the, the sunkens are going to be the fastest, so that's going to be good. Uh, the ruins have benefits. Go read the white people. Uh, the surge, look at the stats, and you'll pick up what I'm saying compared to the bulk. The organic, go watch the demo video. You'll pick up what I'm saying, the official Kerbata uh, video. Okay, all four of these are good. So I'm, I'm not, you know, not going to just pick one and tell you to do this or do that. And everybody's plan is different. Everybody's uh, risk tolerance is different. Uh, everybody's um, starting point or time is different. I mean, we've got people in the Discord that say, I have 30 teams. And I have other people that say, I have three craps. Okay, and some people say, this is my play money. Some people say, hey, like, you know, I need this thing to work. This is, you know, half of my portfolio or whatever. Okay, so everybody's different. But so you want to know a straight answer, primes and craboids for sure. Definitely not gems and bulks. And any of these ones are good too. Any any of these ones too. And once you have about nine crabs, nine to 12, I'd say, then then you want to go into another, another uh, class. And if you're in the free Discord, you can swap uh, with other members. Um, um, and save 3.85%. And if you swap with one of the members in green, uh, then you know for sure you're good because those are my paid members and none of them ever do anything off. Okay? So that's that's it. Want to just talk about the population, talk about what, what's good to breed here for April. Have a great day.